Will's in the building. Oh, Justin, no, uh, I'm in the building. Well, he need to be in here, so we can ask, are you gone?
know. Yeah, I know we always get mad and stuff, you know, on the most serious note. You know, we always get mad when you come over here and, 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 and interrupt us during THG. But, you know, on this night, we want to tell you that we love you. I love you. And that you're very special to us. Exactly. And, and, and I know that you'll be hearing us do THG, and you're probably going to hear us tomorrow night, and you're going to think that we're crazy. And I just appreciate you for letting us, our grown ass, still be in your house doing THG Mania. You know, we could be anywhere in the world, but we'll be right here. Thank something? you. Thank you for loving us, man, and caring about us, and, and you know, being uh, when, when we ain't got it together. So I just want to say you hit the nail on the head with everything. I don't know. Yeah. Uh. yeah. They want to say, ah. Uh. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, moving on from that, that was a, that was a great speech, Bob. Both of you want to thank Super Luke and Angel for passing me that, uh, that hat there, Big Chunk Beat Magic. Yeah. yeah. Because what's about to happen right here? Uh oh, what, what, no, just... Huh? Oh, no, the fans have voted, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the fans voted, but I just need to wear this damn hat, because it's my lucky hat. Oh. You look... Oh, okay. You look shit. I ain't even know. Yeah, the fans have voted, ladies and gentlemen. And we're about to take a look at the uh, category, comeback of the year. Uh, and, uh, somebody go, go on up there. The Duke of them! Ladies and gentlemen, is going to the stage. Let's take to the stage now. Alright, THC Mania. Yeah, uh, the nominees for Comeback of the Year are The Servants, The Artists, and Ada. Could it be just a name? My lovely assistant Lisa, isn't she a babe? Lisa, you want to? Pull the name out of there. I'm not pulling the name out of that. And the winner is. I thought it was going. Ada! That's right, that's right. I know I was going to win. Oh, yeah, I know I was going to win. It's Ada! It's I love you. Well, you got no real music and shit. There y'all go. I just want to thank everybody for my award. It's a little piece of paper. And I just want to say. Thank you, my son. I don't think God. I don't think Jesus. You know, I don't want to thank everybody. And just keep it ghetto, everybody across the world. And keep it real. Yeah, and that's how you get accepted. And I love THG. And thank Yosey. Come on up here. Look, look, look. Because we both won. If I win, she won too. Okay. Hey. Hey. Can y'all see us over there, man? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get that, don't you? <laughs> Why two break the bitches? I'm so happy I won. I, I love the fans. Thank y'all the most. I love y'all. Yeah! Yeah! And this is for y'all! That, that lady got it. Ain't getting it up. There you go, Justin. <laughs> well, they just, just, just threw a, a trophy to the fans. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, y'all can have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to that little special kid. I think mean, that's LT. <laughs> well, before we get back to all the festivities of the night, let's, let's talk about the car. Yeah, because we got a lineup of ten huge, huge humongous, huge, bigger than last year. Way bigger. Let the nigga talk. Big, bigger than that. Bigger than that. <laughs> I said that on on the previous thing, but anyways, I mean, last year was the THD about personal vendettas. This year, uh, you know, we got personal vendettas in there, but I mean, these matches are blockbuster. And once again, as the main event, Killer, Killer versus Bob and Classic. Classic. Ladies and gentlemen, there has never. In the history of THG, been a few so crazy, so controversial, such as the few we're about to discuss right now. Killer has a humongous ego. IQ does the same, you know, and when that when those two get together, it's always interesting to see, you know, the top ignorant. Well, I mean, I mean they ain't ignorant, but it's like the top two people that you hate to love finally going at it. And that's what's happening at THD Mania. And I can't wait to see them clash. And just what you got to say on it. Well, you know, we saw this matchup last year at THG Mania. Like, like we said, we had the THG Mania rematches. We also had the uh, we also had the match for them at WWE Forever. And now these guys are going to go over Also at Vengeance. That's right. Also at hey, Vengeance. Me, uh, here's, a, here's a clip of uh, that match from last year. Just, just, just a little bit. Hold on a second. Yeah, just wait a second. 
Hold on, folks. You know, you know us. Shit. <laughs> That was from last year. Yeah, there was a clip of uh, Roman Rome standing outside the ring at ringside. And the winner of that match was on cue. Sure yeah, because because last night when I was recording on this on yeah, the shit. Yeah, it just stopped with that shit coming out. <clears throat> nah, it didn't stop. It was making weird ass motherfucking noises. Oh. I don't know what was up with that, but that was uh like I said, this is one of the, the big cues, but but my personal favorite match between the two had to be Ventures. It was incredible. You know, for those that haven't seen it, it'll, it'll be uploaded to YouTube. You know, uh, in the comment in the comment weeks, actually, I'll probably do that shit. And folks, it's one of the most craziest matches. It was a 60-minute Iron Man match, and you know, killer beat him. All right, right. but IQ almost came back at the last few minutes, and then um, they they fought again in a 30-minute Iron match, and, and, and again. it was it was supposed to end at the 60-minute Iron Man match, and IQ said to himself. You know, he said that that uh, whoever wins this is the better out of us, too. And, and that 60 minute Iron Man, Iron Man match, Killer won. Then he won it 30 minutes, Killer won again. And well, the thing about IQ is that he don't want to lose. Exactly. He, he don't want to lose no matchup. And, you know, and, and especially up against his biggest enemy. You know, he's he's had uh, a rival with Charles Dean. He's had a rival with, uh, with, with the pain. But never has he had a, a rivalry so intense with somebody on TXG as intense as the killer, yeah. who is the reigning TXG Heavyweight Championship. And speaking of that matchup for Vengeance, a little bit later on, that matchup is in the category for matchup of the year. Be on the lookout for that in just a few moments. But uh, yeah. IQ, and, IQ and the they, killer. They, 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 well, no, 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 Justin. They are both out of here, Justin, due to all the fights. Uh, <clears throat> we want to talk about, we also want to discuss, I also want to discuss the fucking riot that happened a few nights ago. Involving him, Justin, uh, just a fucking bunch of people, folks. I, I don't even remember. Everybody in THG was probably yeah, in that damn right. That motherfucker came over there <laughs> to the announcer booth and and and, 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 and slap slap disrespect Justin. me. Slap Justin. He disrespect. Me. And it was a huge riot, folks, and just damn shit was shit was crazy. But I, I mean, I don't know. It's just it it, it, it kind of hypes up the THG Mania match, which is uh, going to be tomorrow, and hopefully this tape is enough to pick up what's going to happen. You know, we're going to probably be talking about this matchup all night, all, all tomorrow night, all the yeah. way building up until main event time because uh, it's just it's just so it's just so big. I mean, THG Mania, I, I don't, I'm just going to go ahead and go on the record and say that THG Mania is being built around this matchup. You know, this is like the main thing on, on the card and everything else is just building up to this. This is this is the main thing that everybody is waiting for. You know what I mean? We could we could just have a regular TXG show tomorrow, and and that be the main event, and that's gonna be a huge event. But no, this is TXG Mania number nine, ten years from the year 2000. Exactly. I know that sound weird, folks, but we missed the year. Yeah, we, yeah, that's right. We we, we skipped over here, and then I believe uh, that TXG Mania agreed. Uh, we like shit anyway. We, we felt we fell asleep, but it's not gonna happen tomorrow. No, it might not be at the Hard Rock Casino, but it will be at 404 East Hugh Street. And, and I got one thing to say, you know, Justin, I'm not, I'm not trying to choose favorites in this match, but I do respect Killer. Okay. I respect him for, for, for this reason. You know, throughout the years on TXG, like before Killer became successful and all that shit, like IQ was a shit talker. You know what I mean? And just it was just never nobody that could just get in his face and just prove him wrong. You know what I mean? He just beat a lot of people. And, I think Killer's one of the first dudes to kind of make sh Killer shut up in a way. You know, I'm not talking about I don't want to feel too much pain. Yeah, I mean, we could go on and on about that about that matchup, but we got to go back to the stage for another uh, another category. Oh, no, no, we, we, have, we got another category. Uh, I think it's going to be the tag.
uh, Charles Dean and Sus. They are two huge. Well, Sus is a real monster, and Dean is just a huge motherfucker. And they had a Hell in a Cell match. He's a monster of a man. I remember them bumping into each other and Justin, uh, have you ever seen some shit like that? I never in my fucking life have I seen no shit like that. I tell you, if you guys like that, that's the side of me that y'all gonna see tomorrow. Cause that's just how damn, it ain't something I'm planning on doing. It's just how damn pumped I'm gonna be about the whole THC media thing. I mean, it's huge. Bright lights, television cameras, oh, you know. Pussy. Pussy, pussy. Him no pussy. Oh man, well. I, I, I tell you, I gotta say, congratulations to Miss Ada Vickers. Yeah. She definitely deserves that comeback of the year. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, I can mean, believe she won, man. Oh, well, she and, deserved it. I mean, and I wasn't looking that crazy. Oh, that no. shows you folks that, you know, Ada, you know, she did her thing this year. Oh, yeah. The she, DVD, and then and then to be on a, a roll with Yozy. Yeah. It's just great. And I'm, and I'm also proud for Yozy. You know, I'm sorry that Kanye Wells interrupted your moment. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I mean, Wells. Also, uh, congratulations to David Kidd and David Kidd Jr. for winning that tag yeah, team. Yeah, great, year. great team. They was uh, they was up against uh, Yosey and Ada. I'm surprised that they didn't win that, but I mean, they deserve it just yeah. just as much. We're, we're probably going to show y'all uh, a compilation. I'm probably going to release a compilation video of this shit. I mean, quit promoting yourself. That's all your fat ass been doing this whole time. Hey, I'm gonna put vengeance up. You, I'm gonna do that. Shut up! You shut your ass up. Just, Somebody just, want to. Don't nobody want to hear you? Yeah, you conscious. That's a little fucking killer out there. Talking all that shit. Call, 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 calls all this damn commotion. It's just, it's just focused on the little shit. Ain't nobody even trying to be starting that damn thing. Sweet pea. You little shit. Did you call him Sweet pea? Oh, Beth, you ain't at the card again. <laughs> wow, what a surprise. <laughs> That's a very sad thing. I mean, two years in a row you ain't at THD Mania, but I mean, not even you guys, John Cena and CM Punk gonna be there. They just got here. Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, that is true, man. You know, they they did just get here. And speaking of speaking of just oh, getting here, well, nobody wants to hear you, Jason. Speaking of just getting here, we gotta uh, take a look at our at our next category, Rookie of the Year. Now, who do you think that might be, Trump? Justin, I don't know. I'm, I'm banking on DT, but at the same time, Derek Knox, he does his thing. But hey, that's just my opinion. What do you fans think? What do you think? Chance think we're about to figure it out right now with uh, Gordon Gordon standing up there looking like Gary Capetta. You know, I'm about sick of the killer out here talking about my announcer. I'm a damn announcer. I've been doing it for 28 time years. 28 time years. Just calm down. Just calm down. <laughs> Pull the damn name out of the hat. Damn, he ran it in the business, nigga, beneath flow. <laughs> Balls away. It's on everybody's face. Gorgon, Gorgon, uh, the nominees for the rookie of the year are. Derek Knox. Detay. Chris Major. And Jai Small. Jai Small, man. And my lovely assistant, Trinity, is going to pick out the name from the hat. Trinity. What's your name she pick out here? And the winner is Derek Knopps. Oh. I thought, y'all just cheer for me. It'll be mine. All right. <laughs> oh. Turn that shit off, motherfucker. Charlie Murphy in the building. <laughs> I already knew it. I'm damn proud of having this motherfucking award. And a motherfucking year 2010, I'm a cousin me, and I'm a whip my ass. Thank you. Well, there you have it. He knocks. He wins it. He's the rookie of the year, hands down. No matter what nobody else say about him, it is it is said and done over and over. And I, I think we got some something, something going on 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 backstage. Oh, the reaction to to, to what just happened. Oh, man, I can't believe that shit, d -type. That's some bullshit, man. Oh, bro. Also, it's like that motherfucker. Y'all ain't gonna pick your boy? It's like that. Y'all ain't gonna pick your motherfucking boy. Y'all ain't gonna pick your motherfucking boy. Your motherfucking boy. It's like that. You can't be known that, man. <laughs> it's like that, bro. You nigga d tight, man. You know what I'm saying? All right. I hey, hey, don't even hey, don't even mind sweat it though, Ty. Hey, don't even mind sweat it though, boy. Hey, 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 what's up, bro? Hey, hold up, hold up. I'll shut hold up. up. Shut. Yeah. All right. 
Hey, cause my boy gonna want that shit anyway, bro. Shit don't need much matter, bro. Get that crap, my Get that out of here. Get that shit up out of my motherfucking face, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. If you got a problem with a rookie band, all in the cages, fucking, all in the ring, fighting, come to uh, Roman and DT team. Ladies and gentlemen, I just not got a call from my sources that uh, DT has to call Fireliner, but from that remark that he just not made, so can, can we please get that? Well, what was the remark I made, nigga? Well, I want to rewind it because I, I don't remember exactly how it was, but you know, I ain't catching it. Fireliner! Yeah, we're going we gonna to play it back uh, after the show. We're going to get along with that. Let's take you back to the stage! We got to talk about the car, dumbass. Oh, oh. Sorry. Damn! You a professional bitch? Fuck you! Tony Schiavone? Fuck you! Tony Schiavone is very professional! Calm down. Step with that gas off we didn't have a commercial you made. <laughs> well, a very personal matchup that we have going on that's... that's before, fun. Listen, before you talk about what you're pissing off, I already know what it is, yeah. but let me say one thing. Wow! <laughs> oh! <laughs> this sprung up from uh, last year, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny Wells versus Big Ten Money was on the card at THG Mania. And uh, it didn't end that. We thought it did because Johnny Johnny Wells and Big Ten had seemingly squashed things. That is until Big Ten money found out that it was Johnny Wells, in fact, that shot his woman, Crystal, who he uh, just got married to recently. And um, and uh, Johnny Wells was aiming for him. He got real personal. And Big Ten says that he has a bullet, Johnny Wells, that is, on his head. What do you guys say about that? Uh, what I do remember about like when Joel's shot her, I do remember uh, Big Ten, like before this incident, you know, we have not discussed this, but Ten Money was in the wheelchair and he hit Wells with a brick or some shit. And, I, and that's what tipped the Wells to do such a such a fucked up act. Why the fuck he ain't in jail? But uh, tomorrow, this feud has gotten personal, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait to see the shit, you know. Who you making on, Justin? It's going to be Wells and Walt versus 90 and 10 in a knockout match. Just 90 and 10 are going to destroy those two boys. You know, I, I got a lot of respect for uh, Johnny Wells and Walter Bolt. They are great competitors. They they have exactly what it takes to be the, the top guys in THG in the future. But right now, with 90 and 10, they, they, are, they are so dominant and they're at the height of their career. You know, I, I mean, they, I mean they will, they, Wells, Wells they and Walter could, good. though. You know, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, they are, they, 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 they are they high too, you they, know. They are very good. They are very good. But you know what they are? You see, Killer Killer and LT, they like the main main guys of, of that clique. And, and and as of right now, Johnny Wells and Walt, no disrespect, they only support and roll. Yeah. That, and, and that's and you know, that's not taking nothing away from those guys. You know what I mean? Like I said, they are very talented. They have exactly what it takes. All they need is just a little bit more seasoning. You know what I mean? And a little bit more exposure. Big Ten money and, and, and 90, they already have that. And and they did them with a very furious Big Ten Just money. A, I gotta disagree with you. I mean I mean I, I mean it, it, it seems like your argument, it seems like you're stating like, you know, that they, they are uh they are just like not popular and, and No, like, that's not that's not what I said at all. Yeah, I know I know that ain't what you said, but that's what it seemed like. Like, no, they like ain't because they ain't, they they ain't, you know, like exposed like Big Ten and them. I mean I mean, Wells beat IQ. You know when Wells was like a 69 or some shit, in it, and IQ was a hundred. <laughs> you got a very good point. You know what I mean? Johnny Wells, he, he is an excellent athlete. Don't, I those mean, are, I, don't, I those are attribute rates, by the way, of course. For those that don't know what I'm saying, Johnny Wells, he can get in there and he can and he can fight with you. You know what I mean? When Johnny Wells snaps, it's over. It's I've over. I've seen this guy snap, and he destroys people in a matter of moments once he snaps. But what I'm, what I'm talking about in this particular situation is how Big Ten is so livid over the fact that first he was trying to shoot him. This guy, this guy just one year ago, like you said, was in a wheelchair after being shot. Don't know who shot him. People were saying that Lucky did it. People were saying all, all kinds of people did it. He, he still don't know what the hell happened. He probably think Johnny Wells did it because he didn't want to shot his girl. When he was trying to shoot him, he went back and got Dr. the mask. Shot the the mask. Went with the boy. Hey, I'm not taking, like, I'm going to just bottom line this. I'm not taking away nothing from Malta and Johnny Wells. They are a great team. They are the tag team champions. But Big Ten, Ten and, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. They're tag you, champions, too. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's a double title match. Have you seen Big Ten money and, and 90 in the ring, what they do to people? They kill people. You know, they murder people. Have you ever watched the show 90%? You know, 
He fucks his people up. He the whole show is based yeah. on destroying bitches. He's a real, you know, I mean, and, and, a massacre. And, and that show proves that 90 is a real motherfucker. Like, we've seen some shit on that show that 90's done to himself and to others. And shit, this match is so personal that it might just be like that. You know what I mean? This matchup is not a laughing matter at all. Uh, and, you know, it ain't I'm, even a match, it's a fight. Exactly. Yeah, yeah because it's a knockout. You know, ain't gonna be no one, two, three. Won't be no submission. Uh, you know, no no technical wrestling, or nothing like like that. Even though uh, they they can do that, but that's not gonna happen. I mean, we've seen Walter in a recent matchup against the '80s guy in a spectacular matchup. Where he was pulling out some moves that we didn't know that he could do. We was like, "What the hell? You learned a damn hurricane from Walter?" <laughs> that's what I'm sorry to cut you off, but Jazz Ma is livid after losing backstage. Uh-oh. Backstage today is no one up bum likes the dub. Oh, I go down. Oh, well, put around the car, nigga. Oh, well, put around the car, dog. Oh, well, there's a storm in this modern day Babylon. He was doing that the other day after that damn right. He's pissed off. Okay, okay, now, now we're going to the stage for, for, for our next induction. Oh, you, yeah, you got to get up there, Charles. Ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you something. Through the years, I've been wrestling with big men and I've met a lot of good people. But I gotta say, the most interesting person is in this building. Sitting right there in that chair. I remember doing the whole Donkey Kong show. I used to look, I used to I used to sneak out. Sneak out, you know what I <laughs> And I used to go in to I used to go check out this show and I knew one day he would be one of the one of the best stars of TX. Not only has he become one of the best stars, but he's become one of my best friends. Here's what I'm doing the whole thing. Just in case. Okay. Just in case. 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 Just <laughs> you know, when I first started on THG, it was called Size Dan. <laughs> it was only a Buddha Monkey show. I was called Fat Boy. I didn't like it. But that very name is what made me the man I am today. I stand before you at 52 years old. That same fat gentleman that co-starred next to Roman Rome when he was at the height of his career doing his thing. I co-starred next to Roman Rome on his next season at Crash Bandicoot. And then I finally broke out of the shadows when I, when I had my own show, the Buzz Lightyear show, falling from them trees. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I broke new ground. When I began to cuss, wow. and I started start saying, fuck this and fuck that, and fuck you. <laughs> and I just want to thank everybody for believing in me. I want to thank you all for believing in me and for inducting me into this year's Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's stop. Get on the ring. Rookie on the hill. Oh, well, I guess the, uh, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go, go on up there. Uh, oh, oh, no, oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, 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 oh,
Collins, Joe Tex, everybody for making that dance what it was. And it's the Soul Train dance. Huh? We still got other categories. As uh, Super Duper tore all his fat gay ass on out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all for fun. It's a great time! You don't TXG. Big trunks, big magic. It's just too bad that Jazz Mom. What, I'm staying? 
No, I was just going to say that. Damn it, tomorrow TSU, man. What about that, tomorrow? It's too bad that he didn't win rookie of the year. Yeah, it is. It is too bad. You know, he came he came later towards the year. I mean, if you if you look at the overall picture, Derek Knox probably, I think he deserved that rookie of the year spot. Jazz Ma did just come uh, within the last several months. Derek Knox has been doing this thing since the top of the year, 2009. He earned that rookie of the yeah. year spot. You know, he, he, he really did hold it down. And, uh, and I like Knox. Listen, uh, I'm sorry to get off subject right quick, but if you're going to talk about your toe. Hell no, what about my toe? Well, last year you, we were doing the car before the car and you said some shit about your toe. Because you, you stepped on it and the blood. shit was bleeding. Oh, I don't give a shit about that shit. I'm talking about Mad Villain. That, check that motherfucker out. He, he is a rapper, Justin. He came out in 03. Damn. The nigga is so raw. Yeah. He on that Kanye Nas type level. Really? Yeah, check him out. Whenever you can. I'll do that. You, I'll tell you what you need to check out. You need to check out THG Mania tomorrow because we got three big, I mean, two big six man matches tomorrow. We got the Money in the Bank match and the Elimination Chamber match. Let's talk about the Money in the Bank first, please. Well, I got to. well the Money in the Bank matchup consists of Chris Major, David B Boy, Derek Knox, Too Hot, D Tate, and The Artist. You're picking that match? My picking that match is The Artist. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you see. In my opinion, a lot of those people that's in the match are like a little heavy, you know what I mean? And and and, and artist is one. It is like, I mean, he is a heavyweight, but at the same time, he can do moves like a lightweight, and he got just he got a, he got a crazy style, you know. He can take you down, he can fuck you up, and he can just grab, go up there, and just get the damn thing, you know. What I mean, I think he got what it takes. He's a lot more quicker than those guys, in my opinion, and I just think he got what it takes. Who do you think, Owen? Well, you know, that money in the bank matchup. It's a different type of situation when, it, when it's involving all those guys. My pick in that matchup, who I think is probably going to win, is Chris Major. Simply because I have everybody, he is in the best condition. He is 100. He's got 100 attribute points. Yeah, and, 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 he, and he got that He got that in one night. That means that he's going to be able to last longer than, than most of these guys. He's got the durability. However, climbing up that ladder and getting that, that championship does not require durability. Yeah, all, all, you know what I'm saying? That match can be over within a few seconds or a few minutes. So, I hope it's the latter. But Justin shit your dumb ass up. You said, yeah, oh, yeah, I hope it's the latter. Uh, but who I hope win in that matchup is uh, David Beaver. I would like to see him come up this year. And I'd like to see him, you know, be the, be the star. Maybe if you learn how to dress. I'm like, shit, yeah, ugly. See him uh, become the star that, that I know he can be uh, in that matchup. But it's a very unique situation. And one thing that you had mentioned in that match, uh, you said that most of these guys are pretty heavy. I gotta disagree with you. Uh, none, of, none of these guys, uh, uh, all of these guys are like less than 300 pounds. I mean, when I, when I think of a heavyweight, I think of like 300 pounds and up. You know, uh, we got too hot. You know, he is, he is big, but you know, big big is good in a matchup like this. You know, you grab that damn ladder or whack somebody across the damn head with that steel chip, they gonna feel it. Just a good draft. You know, uh, you know, D-Tate, he's not a big guy. Uh, neither is Chris Major or B-Boy. Uh, Derek Knight, he, he ain't real big. And, he, you know, he just re he just very aggressive. I think it's a, I think it's a real mixed up, interesting type of uh, situation. And that's, for, and that's for the Elimination Chamber. 80s guys in there. And, and, and if you want to ask me my pick, I have to go with the fucking 80s guy. But, oh, okay, well, well, you know what? I changed that just now because I just seen a name out of the corner of my eye of Pearl Pearl Vision. Uh, yeah, uh, King Kong. That nigga got a boy for you. <laughs> I think that King Kong could win if he's the biggest, most dominant guy, you know, in TXG, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, and, and if he don't win, I got to go with Brent. What about you, Justin? Yeah, you know, that's why, you know, I, I mentioned both of these matches together because they're, they're different match types, but it's the same situation. You know, you got David Kidd, who is an overcomer. So is the 80s guy. Shoot. Hey, Millennium, you know what I mean? Very unpredictable uh, with him. Brent, another favorite, you know what I mean? Yaki, another favorite. And King Kong, perhaps like you said, yeah, he probably is. He, he is the biggest, and he might be the most dominant, but the factor in this is what number you get. Yeah. You see, uh, that the, that's just going to be at random, and any of these guys could, could start the match off. We don't know who's going to start the match off first. Whoever gets that number six spot has the greatest chance at winning that uh, 
winning that matchup and going on to face the world champion, uh, the winner of Charles Dean and Sooks. Yeah, that would be great, too. I can't wait to see that shit. After THG Mania, we also the got... The champion of Champions Tournament. Sorry. That's right. Let the nigga over there, man. That's what I was just about to talk about, the champion of Champions Tournament. 36 men, as it stands right now, it might be th it might be 38, but as of right now, it's, it's, it's 36. 36 men in a tournament. Everyone, every man on the roster has an opportunity to become the champion of champions. This is going to be the most prestigious championship in THG this year. This is going to be the, the top dog. Do you have a pick at, at somebody who's going to go all the way? Who do you think? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, okay, okay but yeah, I do know. Me. <laughs> yeah. But honestly, though, folks, you know, you don't really believe me, so. Shut mm -hmm. up. Honestly, yeah, I'm not paying attention harder than more, but uh, I, I think uh, I mean, if if I don't win, who I would have to go for is like like if I really don't know. I mean, this is just such a big roster of, of dudes, you know. what I mean, a, a great. Talent. I don't exactly great and, talent, sure, and I don't know strength. who could go all the way. Go ahead. Well, I, I, I was just saying, you know, just adding on to what you were saying. I mean, you got great everybody who is going to be involved at, at TNG Mania will be in this tournament except. The only thing we're excluding is the two champions, of course, because the champion came by himself. But everybody else will be in this tournament. We got big names like Ted. Champion by himself. We got these cheeseburgers won't make them sound. Would you get your ass out of here? Big names like Sis. Big names like Sus might not have it all together because last year 
he lost to Bill Goldberg like three times, and he lost to somebody else. Oh, yeah, Dad, the same guy he's fighting in this match. You know, so I really don't know Sus's chances. I mean, part of me think that Sus could go all the way because of his dominance in the past, you know, but at the same time, just, just, just seeing his record last year makes me a little indifferent of the match at the same time. Uh, Justin, what do you think? Though? Indifferent. I like it. Uh, you know, I feel the same way about this. Sus is he's known to be a very dominant uh, monster, as we've, as we've called him. However, in the recent months, you know, and, and you know, over the course of... Uh, of August and September of last year, when the WWE was running strong, he had his beef, uh, so to speak, with, with with Bill Goldberg, and he had a hard time, you know, uh, being able he beat, to. He beat him at. Uh, I'm sorry, to cut you off, man, but he beat him at SummerSlam. After well, we don't have it online, but folks, Sus did some fucking out of this, you know, and, and, and it's he had to pull out the trick from the hooch. It's shit, it's shit like that. Like that's what. That's what, that when I say part of me say that he could win because, like, Sus, when he real mad, he can do some crazy shit. Like, he put a spell on Goldberg or some shit. He did some shit. He went under the ring somehow, you know, like, and yeah. I, I can't even explain what happened. Yeah. It's like, and, and and he beat Bill Goldberg at SummerSlam. I think they, that record is like, Goldberg won three times. He won, like, one or something yeah. like that. That's what it was. You know? You know what? Like, Goldberg is one of those. When Sus gets mad enough, he can fuck you up. Go ahead, though. Goldberg is one of those names that just has a hard time, uh, has a hard time defeating, and and so is Dead. You know, like it or not, Dead and Sus, you know, they 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 rivalry is almost as intense as the rivalry between Killer and IQ. Yeah. Because these guys they are so similar. You see, Dead's also a monster. Dead is the only man in TXG to kill someone. Dead is also one of the most dominant. Forces in SIDE. Sus, back in the other, you know, SIDE, was very, very dominant. What's that? That battery died. On the computer? Yeah. Why is it dying? Watch out. Oh. I know what the fuck it is. Oh, Stupid ass shit. Don't worry about it. Why do they have it like that, for real? Don't worry about it. Yeah. Junior! If you don't sit your butt down, and, and you took Antonia! Sit your little tired ass down. No, I'll let you come all the way over here with that. Don't, I will sit your ass in bed. Shit, can't even announce this damn match. Why not? You, you need to be in bed. Why not? You little fucker. Sorry. Sorry. Huh? <coughs> you. But as I said, you got one of the most dominant forces from SIDE, and, you know, they they going to meet here in the Inferno match. Some shit we, we thought we'd, we'd never see. This might be one of those matches, too. You know what I mean? That, that that I look forward to. It's gonna be an infernal match. An infernal match. It was the very first matchup signed to this THG venue. And uh that's another thing that you can catch live tomorrow. Huge, huge, huge card. Ten big matches. A, a THG Mania has never had such anticipation. Yeah. Each I mean, year after year. You know, starting with THG Mania one. I remember how amped up I was then. I said, everybody's been participating. I'm in anticipating. No, 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 no. That, that, that was how I was getting. THC Mania was like, I forgot what you said. You it's a call. Win tonight. Win tonight. There you go. In New York City. Sure, felt like he heard an old song. There you go. <laughs> yeah, the call. Win tonight. Oh, yeah. That's how it started off. You know, I was so amped about it. You know, I'm just so amped about it. Delivered. This. Oh, yeah. And this is, this this right here is going to deliver. This is guaranteed to deliver. We went all out for this. Brand new, brand new smack. Brand new equipment. Brand new equipment. Cameras and shit. We this shit is going to be digital, ladies and gentlemen. Last year was our first time going Who digital. Fuck. Last time was our first time going digital, but this time the picture quality will be way better. It will be uploaded to channel TXG via YouTube. So, uh, yeah, we might we might just upload the whole card and just call it part one, part two, and shit. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. Why not? Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. And, yeah, uh, and maybe, I'm saying maybe we should do the shit to Vengeance. You know what I'm saying? But that shit's so long, I don't know. You know oh, what I'm man, saying? man, do that shit. Channel THG. That shit long. Channel THG is all about THG. It don't matter how long that shit is. You know what I mean? Oh. I just don't want this dumbass computer. You know, the shit is already ugly as fuck. And I don't want the shit to ship down. I don't know. Like, like you can't save. Like, like, the thing with this shit is you can't save that much shit on this computer. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, because I don't, like, when I first got this shit, I saved one picture, and, like, the damn memory space was just ridiculously high or some shit. I don't, I don't know, man, about the damn memory system. People make complaining about that with this computer. And let me just stop talking about my personal life and talk about TXG man. And also, we got, sorry, DT and Walt on being a battle rapper. Okay. That's right. That's that's coming up in a little while. But before we do that, let's take you back to the stage. Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, Gordon Morgan has left the building. I'm good old jail. As to what? Dun, 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 dun. Now for years, I've been sitting on my fat ass. And I'm the real drum raw. That's on Monday Night Raw. Look at my cheeks jiggle. You're nothing but a 1996 cop rip off of when JR was pissed off. You're a damn wiggle. Well, you, you ain't shit. I will be your ass. I'll beat your ass tonight. I'll beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass. Come on, forget my phone. Yeah. And there, everyone, the Sports and Day Boy. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Up next are the nominees for the match of the year. And the nominees are David Kidd and David Jr. versus Harlem Heat. Harlem Heat. LT versus DeMonte in the hell in the cell. Jesse. Carada. <laughs> Yoki versus Jeff Hardy at WWE for the TL in the TLC match. And Bobby versus the Killer. In an Iron Man match. And the way that is. You think we'll win, Trunks? I don't even know, man. You the honest folks in. Hey, Lord, hey, Lord. Oh, my God! Classic versus Kena! Iron Man match! Oh, well, well this, I mean, uh, not well, but, uh. Hello, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I just want to, because I don't want them coming on stage together, we don't want no confrontation happening. We're trying to keep them as far apart as we can, but I'm sure that Kelly and IQ appreciate that award, and they is well-deserving, especially after that hard-fought match, and I just want to say I got some bad news. A character by the name of Miss Joe, who's playing an old donkey farm show, uh, Jay Strong, and Miss Joe's dead, you know. Yeah. Yay! 
And tonight, I'm going to host this battle rap. Will you just sit and watch, little boy? Little boy. And if you get it, you'll probably get a sip of this rap, sir. You? <laughs> so sit back and watch and wait for Walt and Webbs. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome an old red corner. Let me... Let me use the flashlight so you can see his black ass. <laughs> Please welcome <laughs> from New Orleans, Yelts. The chill is in the building. And then the yeah, Yona. Please welcome Yeah, yeah. from the yeah. Motherfucking bike care representing nukes, stand your motherfucking ass up, bro. I'm still mad about your old fans and shit about not voting for me, but hey, it's all good. Yeah. It's all good, yeah. partner. Yeah. I still get paid. Hey, yeah. that's nuts. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this better rap contest goes for you fans. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in this battle rap, uh, both of these guys are going to have a minute apiece, and uh, at the end of that, uh, by by the fans by the fans uh, vote, uh, we're we going we're going to pick out of this here hat who who who's the winner. All so right. uh, uh, after this here coin toss, we're yeah. real coin this time. I know we got money. <laughs> uh, a Taylor. I mean, yes or yells. Hell, bitch. Damn rusty ass sport, I can't believe that Rusty ass sport, he got it. Well, all goes first, that rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm probably going to be laughing at someone. <laughs> 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 we was just, we was just bragging about that shit. Like, we got real money. This <laughs> rusty ass shit. <laughs> well, we back. Here we go. I mean, well, we've been back. All right. Damn. All right, so we're gonna start this here beat and walk. You got, you got a minute. Starting up. Yo, yo, man in the building. Yo, man in the building. Put your fucking hands together in the building. Put your fucking hands together in the building. It's the nigga wall. You can check me. Catch this nigga. What's the fucking recipe? I don't even know who the fuck I'm fucking battling. A loser. You fuck with Walt and you the bruiser. You fucked up, claiming like you're from ATL. But you just from all the rest, you go to hell. Your shit is fucking weak. You lame when you speak. These niggas didn't vote for you, cause you weak. Your shit ain't clean. That Walter shit is mean. You see, we got the belts, we the illest tag team. You run with Romy, run y'all need to run your ass home. Cause all y'all niggas full of A's is full blown. H-I-B, your ass is fucking positive. Yo, check me out, nigga, as I fucking ride this bitch. Bitch, I got a minute, bitch. Bitch, I ain't gonna cut my shit off, bitch. Oh. Well, <laughs> over and over. Oh, dumb black ass. All right, we're gonna start that beat over and, uh, and I'll uh, detail. I'm gonna catch that shit, bitch. Yeah, yeah. I see y'all niggas saying y'all motherfucking up. Step one, stay y'all motherfucking ass up, bro. This for y'all niggas, bro. Hey. Oh. Uh. Yeah, that's the boy, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna kick some real shit. Yeah, who this nigga is. I fuck this nigga up like his little kids did. And fuck up, this nigga is a bad father. Nigga, you can't go far. You a black motherfucker. And I'm about to do these old school fools. Uh, 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 like they just came like a virgin Walk you so ugly, nigga need a plastic surgeon You're fucking with the best This nigga is just depressed And that's why he motherfucking dissing this fly ass guy I spit this shit and you know it's a hit The nigga is hating and this nigga is a bitch That's why he masturbating to his shit Because he wish that he had a bitch but nigga, you never have a bitch. You gon' always have your friends. Oh. Fuck you and your kids, and fuck you, bitch. Oh, jerk right, off. All right, all right. Yeah, jerk off. What? What? Both y'all did good. Both y'all did good. Give y'all both a hand. 
But now it's up to the fans. Now, based on the fans' judgment, Walter went first, and uh, this is the number that they gave for him. Yeah, <laughs> they gave y'all the ten. Huh? <laughs> you automatically lose. <laughs> now, now, that don't mean he automatically lose. Now, they, they take it also get a ten, and uh, and that would mean that it would be a tie, and we would have to have a tiebreaker. So let's just see what they take out. Well, I know they're going to get a motherfucking honey, don't I? Yeah, let's see. Let me get it. He got 50. He got 50. They want to have a battle rap with these honey. Oh, bitch. Oh, trying to shake his hand. Fuck you, man. Oh, my God. Oh, hell, man. 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 Hey, man. Put that thing with that child out. Put that thing with that child out. Get some security out of here, man! I shut that dog on man up. That's why you want no dog on battle rap in this mess. Cause you act like you ain't never been no other folk. Goodness. Well, there you have it. A battle rap between DT and, and well, have a seat, Trunks. I told you, I, I told you that's the problem with, uh, that's the problem with damn DT. He think he a dub. He thinks he a dub. What's the problem with him? He's learning respect. These young guys is always getting pitched. These young guys always, them, them getting physical around here. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, JJ Strong is, is on stage and he was about to name the quarter of the year. Thank you, everybody, for coming out here. We're about to get into our quarter of the year. And, uh, you know, there's been a whole lot of good quotes this year. But we only had to narrow it down to a few. But we hope you like it. And the nominees are LT. Love that. Oh, LT and Killer. For love that wrestling. Come on, LT. Yeah. Love that wrestling. Exactly. Just like oh. LT. Shit. Bob Classic. Adventures. I hate everything about everybody. <laughs> I hate everything. Think about everybody. Trying to sound like you're a kid. <laughs> Johnny Wells, are you good? After that fight, press. I did half that. I'm gonna let Jack. I'm gonna let Kid. I see. Y'all, good. <laughs> the killer. What you mean, problem? Probably not. What you mean, problem? Probably not. So what just? Detail. Look. Hey man, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know what Walsh should have did in that fight? Maybe should have blocked. Should have walked that? Lock. And the winner of the quote of the year award goes to LT and the killer. Y'all love that rest. LT, let me talk first. Oh yeah, well, they gotta play our music. Okay. Who makes shit? Okay, I'm cut off now. Who makes shit? Oh no. Dude, you should have been on that. Ladies and gentlemen. That's the reason we won this motherfucking award. <laughs> because this is what we're trying to tell y'all. Y'all love that motherfucking wrestling. Exactly, though. You know what I'm saying? Wells, Wells been escorted out of here again. Fuck no, no. Hey, y'all ain't gonna rough up my boy. Nah, he just been tripping lately. I'm oh, saying, hold on. I'm a boy. I ain't got a face. Oh, fuck it. Take it down. But, uh, I just wanna, um, you know what I'm saying? I wanna thank all the fans for both for us, dog. You know what I'm saying? 2010. It's gonna be another year, dog. Hey, killer man. Well, when y'all, when you made that joke, what you was doing? I was in the car. <laughs> well, yeah, dog. <laughs> Thank y'all. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. LT, you got something to say, dog?
LT, you deserve this award more than me because you. Oh, oh man. Jesus. Man, you know, that's, that's got to be quarter yeah, you know. Somewhere up above, God Almighty is looking down at at at, at T.A.G. and saying, "Yeah, that, that's that's the point. Yeah, love that wrestling. Hey, you can't deny Super Duper and Joe. Really they love that. Show. I mean, they that, fucking love tomorrow's it. Tomorrow's T.A.G. Mania. Exactly. I mean, you know, we, it's ten years in the making. I mean, and we and we cutting off everything. We cutting off people. We cutting off everything. Exactly. Just, we cut the damn shit. phone off. You cut your damn mama. I yeah, know. we cut the damn mama. Folks, at, uh, after we put in the Hall of Fame, and she <laughs> off now. She ain't in there. Get out of there. <laughs> and you're still in the Hall of Fame. DJ. Uh, defeats Walt in a battle rap uh, earlier on the night. Now Walt got confrontational. Yeah, he, he ain't he ain't like that shit. Uh, he, you, he, uh, he extended his hand to, sh- to, to shake his hand and uh, he, he, he just like that. I uh, just left Walt trying to tell you last night the motherfucker just disrespect me. Disrespect. I mean, I'm not a, and, and, and I knew his mama. His mama was Sula Fool Jackson. Yeah. She was the nicest lady. She was a bus driver, an old bus driver, way back in the day. Yeah. Before I had drugs, you know, and. This one, big trunk. She was nuts. Oh, big dogs would be mad. Yeah. Yeah, how the fuck this little devil see come out that pussy? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. How the fuck? Yeah. Uh, and this guy is standing by on stage for our last Hall of Fame inductees. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just want to say, the 80s guy says he's mi- he misses the WWE, and what he misses most.
who came out there and was the originator of the Stone Cold Trust, the number all six would adopt it. What? It was Stone Cold. You're the best Trump. Well, if he says I'm the best Trumper, if I say he's the best Trumper, we're the best Trumpers. And go over there, children. And oh yeah, I haven't said this in years. All the little kids, they're out and about. Go on, kids. Go on. What the hell does that mean? And before we get out of here... Shake it back, idiot. Go ahead. Before we get out of here, I just want to say one more thing, and that's this. Because a whole lot of people think that Alfie James aren't going to trough tomorrow. The way I'm going to bring you the trough in this trough for pit that you ever did see. That we haven't been on top ever since our last battle in that epic Hell in Cell match. That we're just some assholes and that are some has and that fell off. I got one thing to say about that. Never say never, brother. Never say never. There are two motherfuckers that just want to be like Hulk Hogan and shit. And, uh, I hate them. Oh man, it's been a wild night, you know, and this is just, this is just a preview of what's to come. This is, it's, it's not even a preview, it's, it's, it's the tip of the iceberg, it's, it's the, I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't it, it ain't it, what's it, it's going to be tomorrow, 10 big huge matches at THG Mania 9, the 10th anniversary, what match, what match haven't we talked about? Well, one match that we haven't talked about is, uh, what, a, a pretty serious matchup involving the future of Miss Spotsy Hot, and she's gonna be taking on both. And if she wins that matchup, uh, she no longer has to be married to the killer. So you know what I mean? Bo is a dyke that like coaching. Put yeah. that shit over here so we know how this shit looks. Yeah. All right, folks. Uh, she's uh not liked in the women's locker room because she she touches women in a very inappropriate way and yeah, she, she kisses right in, the right, ring. right in the middle of the ring, folks. And you know uh, it's crazy. And this, and this match might be one of those matches that might be controversial. It's going to be the first match on the card. I'm looking forward to it. I'm thinking that Foxy Hot, because she hasn't been successful in her recent matches, you know, I mean, I just feel like, you know, she might not be successful in this one. She just hasn't been showing. Oh, sorry, I thought it was doing what it was doing last night. But she just hasn't been very successful in her matches. Go ahead, just. Well, uh, she hasn't been very successful. Uh. She's been training, she's been doing a whole lot of training, and you know, uh, she just, she ain't the same Foxy Hot as she was uh, last year. But I mean, this could change. This could change, and uh, tomorrow night, I mean, let's look at it. Bo's like a like a 60-something. Yeah. Foxy Hot. Nah, she like a 58. Bo's oh. Bo pretty low. Oh, uh, okay, I didn't know she was that low, but yeah, she is in the 50s. Foxy Hot is in the early 70s. That might be a difference maker. You know what I mean? Uh, since the, since those two last met, uh, Foxy Hot has done some significant training, but is that training going to be enough to get her through this matchup with Bo? It's got to be the matchup with Foxy Hot's life. I mean, she hates being married to the killer. Exactly. Killers, ladies and gentlemen, I got to say, you know, if I can go back though now, I think Killer is hands down the most controversial figure. I mean, yeah, that's just, why we don't even have a category it's just because he already is. It's just the, the things he's done, you know well, what shit. I mean? People try to come in here, you know, with respect, and Killer's just, just, just changed people's personality. And right. but, but but sometimes you, you got to respect the Killer for pointing out the obvious at times that, that, that even sometimes we don't see. Like, for instance, the world's greatest athlete that ever had came here last year, and, and, and the motherfucker did some gesture. And the bitch looked gay <laughs> every time he fought the killer. Killer whooped his ass. Yeah. It's like you, you can feel that, you know? It's like, it's like, stuff. like but Trump, just like that guy over there. It's the computerized man doesn't know him. Tell him, tell him. <laughs> tell him. <laughs> don't even know his name no more. It's Terry Williams over there posing. He ain't been here for THG Mania weekend. Oh, really? Oh, I thought that was somebody important. The computerized man of the new millennium, Terry Williams, who was uh, escorted by Yosey last year. Well, well, I should probably don't even give a fuck about how. <laughs> your computer sales probably down, nigga. Get your ass out of here. Another matchup that we haven't talked about. 
uh, we didn't talk about Yozy and Ada versus Miss Intense and, and Batula Dean. Wow. You know, and uh, Yozy was injured by, by Miss Intense. Both of them. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, they, they fucked up pretty, pretty damn good. You gotta Yozy came back. Just, just, I'm getting words you got to call. They fucked her up. That does not sound good. You cannot prove that shit. Bullshit, okay? If I want to listen to bullshit, I would go to a rodeo, watch a bull take a shit, and lay my ear on it. But I don't want to do that. I want to do it. Oh, <laughs> All right, all right. Well, Yo Yoda did come back in singles matches and defeated Petula Dean. I, 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 don't, I don't remember if she took on Miss Intense, but that was in the singles matchup. This is Yoda and Ada's last tag team matchup for a long time, they, they, they say, but, uh, that next team on the rise, who we may be talking about as exactly. team of the year, it might have, it it might have uh, drove Yozy and Ada up out of here. I mean, damn near. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. They say they coming back and shit, but they pretty much like they just came. I mean, it, and, and it's surprising because I thought I, I thought when I seen them getting put together, but two Ladine and uh, Intense, I thought that just you know what these numbers are supposed to represent. Yeah, that's just how long we're taking around. Don't be nothing. Okay, but anyways, uh, what was I finna say? Oh yeah, when they first when they first got together, I'm like, damn, this is probably gonna be a dominant team, and you know they they, they proved that because they have been just fucking fucking people up. Melina's been out of action, ladies and gentlemen. Like again, you know, the first right. time Miss Intense fucked up, I forgot what she did to her. Second time, Melina was thrown outside of the ring onto some damn steps. You know what I'm saying? And face first onto them shits. And damn, um, I don't even know what happened the third time, but. She's out of action again, and this intense has got a very devastating finishing maneuver, and so does Batula Dean, thrusting all that weight down on you. Uh, this intense is known in THC for uh, for destroying. She's 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 not new to this women's division. Mm -hmm. She destroyed Kim Shi a couple years back. Kim oh, six. Yeah, Kim Shi ain't, ain't, ain't been. Just not came back to THG. Just now. She used to. She used to. But but but, that, but 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 she is Miss an intense assassin. Just, Miss intense just came back also. Well, yeah, but I mean, Miss Intense was, what I'm saying is she was just dominating, you know what I mean? She was really kicking ass, and she really, uh, she really did a number on Kim Chi. Oh, 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 so you gonna sit here and not even call me out so you can announce for me, d -Matic? This is my wife, man. <laughs> Beth Love! You know you could have brought your old black ass up out here if you want to, oh, whatever. Beth Love! <laughs> Go ahead, Joe. Beth was saying, uh, big chunk there. That was a bit of alter altercation. This just that, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, before uh, THC Mania, we're going to be having a free for all matchup between Jazz Ma and Sparrow. It was supposed to be Sparrow versus Brent for, the, uh, for that theme music, but that's going to have to be pushed on later on. But, uh, we want to see Jazz Ma. He's gonna be taking on Sparrow tomorrow night. Sparrow, we ain't got we ain't got no other people. No, I'm sorry. Sparrow seems too much like a cruiser. Well, I want Jasmine to fight somebody. I don't think there's nobody I, else. I think he should fight. What's the name? The the, the ball. Dude. What's the name? What the fuck the name? Is uh, what is his name? Oh, dude, I don't know the ball. JJ Strong, son. Kareem. Oh, yeah, Kareem. I, yeah. I think that'd be a better match. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Kareem. Yeah, we should change that. Yeah. That'd be better. I don't, Sparrow, I don't know about that. Yeah, he's good, but he's I don't, I don't know. I think he can. I think he can take it. It's kind of well, 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 it's, it's kind of like '80s versus Wall. We didn't think that match would be as big as it was, and, and it's good. Yeah, you never know. You got to yeah. you got to mix it up. You can't just put athlete with athlete all the time. You got to put a brawl in there with an athlete. See what you get. You know what I mean? You, you got to mix it up sometimes. You, can, you, you might be surprised, just like you said with, with Walt and uh, the '80s guy. But let's go back to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, as our last uh, category. Athlete of the year. Here we go. TXG fans. Oh, not again. TXG mania will be tomorrow, as we say. Please go home. Please go home. Please go home. Please go home. I will not stand here and be besmirched by all of you idiots. As a matter of fact, if you guys don't want me to be on stage, then I'll show you who can be out here and announce. Hey, bro. I brought Tiny Tiny this damn bitch. Every single time. Go again. 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 Go
God. That's what I thought. Uh. <laughs> and the nominees for Athletes of the Year are Brent. Brent. David Kent Sr. Bobby Classic. The IT's God. And the artist. What? Hold up, bro. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Watch out. There's been a mistake here. There's been a mistake. Uh, the, the killer's name is not. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Breast basketball, nigga. ATV, bitch. Breast the Where the fuck is mad, dog? That's the winner is. Fuck that shit. Uh, Dummy! Fuck that shit. Uh, I'm sick of you. 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 Uh, I'
think that uh, Bo could win Justin because uh, Foxy hasn't been, I mean, of that. But, but at the same time, Foxy could win. You know what I mean? I mean, we talk about numbers and shit, and, and Foxy is higher than Bo, way higher. She's yeah, a she, fucking 58. She's 20 points higher than now. Exactly. Uh, some, somewhere around that. I'm pulling for Foxy, but Bo could take that pussy and could take that matchup. And Foxy would have to be married to the killer. Yeah. Or, <laughs> as they say, until death do their part. Yosie and Ada versus Miss Intense and Batula Dean. Yosie and Ada. Uh, that's the favorite team, you know, going into that matchup. But uh, looking at their they, they history and their record with that team, I got to run with Miss Intense and Batula. I think they got you number, girls. IQ and the killer? Oh, well, I don't know. Another one. <laughs> Another one. I just don't fucking know. The match of the night. This is the main focus of THD main. Like I said earlier on, everything is building up to this very main event matchup. I keep I like your game. handwriting, Justin. Thank you. My shit ugly. No, and uh, I, I think I think that's the whole rundown. Tomorrow, this same time, we are going to be crunk. We are going to be no question and low. Trump said, hey. Yeah. What do you think? Turn the name. You know, bitch, I'm going to man. Just beat that damn boy. I'm going to make you spit that bullshit out. Hey. Yeah. For my good friend, Big Trunks. Damn. I'm Ernest. Justin Turkey Lane. Say the And the best wasn't him. Yeah! Ah. Oh, that shit. Turn it on. Yeah, we done. Fuck it.